Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to animate shape edges in Adobe After Effects. We're gonna be using something called trim paths to do this. And basically this is what it can end up looking like, is you can create any shape and have it create this really, really neat outline right here. And I added just a little bit, uh, glow up here to make it look even cooler, because I love adding glow to things. But yes, yeah, so this is really the basics of the effect, and we can really manipulate this stuff right here to do a whole lot of neat effects on a bunch of different layers. And these are neat to be added into stuff like um, lower third animations, or you can have like your logo in here and have a circle spin around it, a lot of stuff like that. You can even make like a loading symbol, an indefinite loading symbol with this. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is we need to go up to composition, new composition, go ahead and create ourselves one here. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to just draw our shape. So I'm gonna go off a little bit and let's make a triangle. So I'm gonna go here, here, there. It doesn't have to be a perfect one there. And then let me adjust this one down a little bit. and. That looks pretty good. So the next thing we're gonna do is, now that we have our shape layer created, we're going to want to drop this down, go into contents, and you'll see that the shape is right here. But what we want is to add trim paths. So what we can do is we can go up here and click this little add button, and you'll see there's all this stuff that you can throw into here. What we want though is this one right here, trim paths. We're gonna drop that one in, then we can drop down this, and we have controls. And basically what these are is this is the start, so um, you can reduce it or increase it and the end right here. And so basically what you're doing is there's like a point here and when you increase the start, you're changing the position of where it starts. So it doesn't start here. If we go to 25%, somewhere around 25% or 50, let's go 50% because that's a little better. It's gonna go half of the path, and so it's going to start at half of the path. And then you can say let's end it at 75% of the path. So what we're doing here is we have made it so that only the third quarter is lit up in this situation. So it starts at 50% and ends at 70% not really useful unless you're trying to like make something static i mean um using it statically isn't very useful so what we want to do is we actually want to animate these um and make them change over time so let's go ahead and reduce this one back down to 100 and let's bring this one back up to 100 and what we can do is we can actually start the keyframes on whoops not the offset offset will actually is a good one um to do as well let me just go through that one really quick so if we move it here, if we move the offset, we can actually choose where the starting point should be. So instead of it starting right at our first point, we could have the starting point here. So our animation starts here or over here. So that's a good thing to know. Um, if you don't, if you want it to change directions, you can go ahead and change uh, the offset around, change where it starts. Okay, so let's go into it. We have clicked the little stopwatches here so that we've created keyframes here so that we can actually begin animation. Let's go to one second. Actually, let's go to 15 frames right here. And I'm going to take the, uh, let me go back here. This should be at 0%. I'm gonna go ahead and take this, and we're going to bring the start up to 100%. And then now, we're going to go to the one, so this is uh, double the time again, and we're going to bring the end down to 0%. And what this does is it creates a, a cool little effect like this, uh, just something different. I want to show you that there's like a bunch of different effects that you can use here. So we got this cool little animation going just like that. And you know, we can move keyframes around, we can adjust things. So like if we um, actually hit a mark here, so if we delete this here and move this one over, then we have kind of like the one I started with right here. Um, except it's like almost backwards. Uh, yeah, so you can adjust them, like I said, this is fully animatable, you can move these keyframes around and just have a whole lot of fun with it. So let's go back with this weird, sort of funky design here, where they're coming together and the left side's a little bit slow. I don't know, I don't know, I just kind of like it. So we're gonna go ahead and throw my glow onto it again, um, just because I also really like glow. Oops, I don't know how I drag that over here. Come on back. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click this glow and throw it in here. Uh, give it a little glow. And so the next thing I want to do is I want to highlight all of these. And in the last tutorial, I talked about this, where we go into the graph editor, and we can actually manipulate the graph of these, because we kind of want the speeds to change. So I'm going to go ahead and um, go back to here. I'm going to highlight, whoops, my bad, comp2. Go out of the graph editor. And I'm going to highlight all the keyframes, and I'm going to hit F9. Now, what does F9 do? It adds that thing, Easy Ease, onto it, you know, the thing that sounds like a wrapper, um, that makes it sort of come in exponentially and then slow down. So now, if you just see right when we play this, it, it kind of goes fast at the beginning, slow in the middle, sort of stuff like that. Um, and if we go into the graphs editor, we go to the speed, click on 
my bad, right here, go into the edit speed graph and then click on this shape layer, zoom it out some, move it in, and then what we want to actually do is click on the two, the start and the end here, so we can hold control to bring them both up. And so you can see how the speeds are kind of going right now. And if we go back to the value graph, you can see it, it has created this sort of this arc right here, but we kind of want to move this around. So let's go back into the speed graph again, and we can actually click on these and sort of change the speed a little bit. So let's say we want like a left skew here and a right skew over here. And let's see how that looks. That actually looks really, really neat. So it like it almost the top one like slams into the front one and then the right side happens just like that. And so basically what I'm trying to get across here is that all you need to animate shape layers is just the trim paths. You can manipulate the start and the end to really, and the offset, to really do anything you want. Um, and then you can come into the, the keyframe editor right here and make them even better. Let's go ahead and go over one little more example here. Let's manipulate the offset here. So let me go here and let's kind of make this like rotate. So I don't even know what this is going to look like, but I kind of want to show what the offset, you, how you can animate this as well. So yeah, you kind of see that it's trying to go over four different times. So what you're doing is you're actually changing the offset and then it's like slowly getting better. So if we actually made this a little bit um, better instead of times four to maybe like a times two, we could actually kind of get this spinning parallel effect right here. And that actually looks cool. I, I'd like to clean it up so that it, it doesn't bounce back like it does right there. But I like this a lot right at the beginning where it slowly gets longer and longer and longer. So we could kind of manipulate that and get it to how we want it. But then it, that is really it on this tutorial. Remember, you can just drag a shape layer. You could drag a rectangle. You could draw your own shape layer. You can do anything you want. And all you have to do is go to this add button, trim paths, and you can trim the path um, to the layer. It's going to trim the, the stroke on it, and it's going to make it look really, really neat. And you can make this into like lower third animations and stuff like that. Thanks, everyone, for joining me. That's it for this tutorial. If you got any questions, comments, or anything like that, throw those in the comments below. If you want to see more content similar to this or on the video realm in the Adobe suite, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, see ya.